The US dollar against the Japanese yen has been range trading for quite a time. At the moment, we're coming towards the lower boundary of that trade range. We've also got negative momentum. The moving averages are rolling down and will give resistance to any upside. However, you do need to wait for a breakdown before trading this currency. If there is a breakdown, then it, there could be a substantial move to the next support. Let's look at those charts. So here we have, as usual, the daily picture. And you can see that the dollar against the yen has been range trading uh, for all this year, really. Um, you can see that we've got resistance levels just above the 114 and we've got supports down below 110 to uh, just above 108. At the moment, we're down towards the lower boundary of the trend line that would signify the bottom of the trend. You can see that we've come back below the moving averages and that they now will create res resistance to the upside with the 50 day at 111 spot 67 and then the 20 day 112.5. Um, the 200 day is still moving up. Um, which could be a, um, a factor if we can get back above um, those moving averages. But I think in the short term that the short term moving averages will be the dominant factor. On the RSI, you can see that uh, we're in a downtrend and that also we are back below 50, presently trading at 41 spot 21. And the MACD um, also negative, back below zero although the differential between the short and the longer is narrowing, but they are still signifying negative momentum. Moving on to the weekly picture, and here you can see um, the consolidation that we've had this year. There is still a chance that it could be a flag formation in a bullish run. Uh, don't discount that, um, and especially as we are finding support from the 200 week moving average. That would need a break above the uh, the 115, 115.50 uh, level to confirm uh, that that was a flag. We'd then see upside. But at the moment, with the 20 week dragging the market down, that's presently at 111 spot 4.2. Um, and there's a downward influence on this market. Um, you'd expect, like on the, on the uh, daily picture, for the supports to be tested and a break uh, down below the one, as I said, the 110, 108 level would signify a break. And then we would see the supports down at 102 tested. MACD, again indicative of negative momentum, is back below 50, 48.73. Uh, sorry, the RSI and the MACD are just starting to roll down um, at the zero level. So keep your eye on those. The... Um, for our picture, uh, we did have an engulfing candle um, that was on the 26th of July. Uh, so there's no surprise that we haven't had much of a rally since then. It's just recovering from the shock of that very much like we had. Um, well, it wasn't an engulfing candle, uh, but we did have a big fall on the 14th of July. You kind of get a recovery phase and then the next decline that looks like what could be ha happening here we're having the recovery phase uh, in fact very much like the recovery that we had on the 14th to 16th of july you are getting a picture of higher lows um, but be aware of these moving averages once they catch up they will be a downward influence on this four hour chart uh, again rsi in a downtrend at 46.54 and again the macd moving down and are back below zero. So looking at the support resistance levels, we've got resistance at 111 spot 67 from the 50 day, then at 112 spot 55 from the 20 day, with support 110 spot 26 from the 50 week, and then that low of the 10th of June 108.81 
given the second support. So that's been TA for traders looking at the dollar against the yen. The key takeaways from the video should be that we're in the middle of a trading range. Uh, the moving averages are now giving resistance. Uh, it does have downside momentum. Actually, this has downside on all the measures daily, weekly and four hour. But wait for a break. But there could be a big move potential. And at the moment, it does look like that could be to the downside. Many thanks for watching this video. Please remember that these videos are not investment recommendations. They're just my opinions. And uh, please do read the disclaimer. Thank you.